Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we're playing Legendary Iron Man Difficulty. Welcome back everyone, it is month number 7 and it's time for another mission. Before we jump in uh, though, I wanted to fulfill a viewer's request. We got a new character for our character pool. Uh, Jessica Jones, aka Rabbit, is uh, going to be one of our hardcore assaults. I like the... Um, Pretty straightforward, uh, but yet intriguing style of her. Uh, no helmet and nothing. Jessica doesn't need that. So um, we're going to see her on action very soon. And that brings us to today's mission. Even more action. We got a really nice action-packed mission, uh, which is containing a pretty damn interesting squad, Texman. Phil Mitch Mitchell, St. Elliot, Quickfeet will be the specialist. We got Baya, the well hitting gunner. We got Glitch, the technician, and Rascal, the ranger. And uh, this really pretty decent team will go up against almost 30 enemies in Operation Lone Spear after we got our asses kicked in the last, um, uh, in the last advent um, um, supply raid. We're this time going to be well better prepared and we'll essentially get some corpses hopefully a couple of Archon corpses as well as a lot of supplies all right let's jump right into it and get the party rolling guys and we have landed since we have infiltrated for more than a hundred percent we even start concealed which is a great advantage for once, we do not need to fear to be immediately like dragged into combat. Also, we're starting at high ground. Yet another advantage. The game actually wants to almost make up for the bullshit that it gave us the last time that we did such a mission. Sane begins to move up. And we got a nice little... Oh no, it's it's not a typical advent only pack. I was uh, thinking if it would be kind of a, a, cr a chrono pack, one of each color chromatic pack um, of advents, but that's not the case. Instead, it looks like an elite viper, another elite viper, normal mutant, and a couple of advents, probably eight overall, which is still a pretty damn scary pack. Baya, let's put her down here, mostly for the suppression ability. Quick feet can stand more kind of inside the high ground, don't necessarily need him at the front line. Moving Phil Mitch, Mitchell a little bit closer for grenade support. Glitch, who is uh, the other support with his flamethrower, extended flamethrower. Might be an interesting opportunity for him to, to open this entire pack up, but it's also incredibly dangerous, so might want to... <clears throat> Really leave him here for now and hope that they are kind of moving more into his direction. Main DPS, Rascal. He has high ground advantage, so we should make use of that. And the best way of making use of it is essentially really putting him on the spot. We got a grappling hook, so we could always re grapple back up here. I'm wondering if this would be a good position. It is full cover. We can steady the weapon.
Unfortunately, the pack moves away, which is the exact op. Oh well, maybe I'm wrong. I was about to say, unfortunately, the pack moves away, which is the exact say, uh, the, um, opposite of what we would want. Let's continue to wait for now. And instead of charging in too far, I'm almost considering what the right position is in order to ambush them with a flamethrower, which would be a perfect opening. Only Baya is missing, there we go, and I think we can put her here. So I'm of course assuming that the pack will move a little bit closer into our direction now, and will take the high ground as well. It's a bit of a dance between where the pack is going and how we are following. Yeah, we're probably going to be spotted out, uh, although this here would be a cool place to go. Already there. Getting it done. All right, bye. Uh... We need to get a bit closer overall. I mean, it's half cover, which isn't really the optimal position to find yourself in. On the other hand, if we can get a good jump on that pack, it's going to die almost immediately. Just needs to be uh, needs to stop moving away from us. Promise you, if we're now leaving them to their own devices, there will be another pack from down here. It's going to engage on us. Affirmative. Ooh, okay, so they move down here. Well, that's interesting. It almost forces us uh, to follow them ever so slightly. Good to go. Yeah, let's take the position over here. That's better shooting angles. Finally, they're coming back. Now I can smell an opportunity here for the first time. Nice little full-blown 
flamethrower engage Ooh, look at that six enemies and all of them in direct in direct proximity all right fortify hell yeah let's try to ignite some of them three of them are burning you got rid of uh, some evasion bonus and it seems that that two more are burning on top of the ones that are already burning let's start with the obvious choices we don't need to fortify if we're in full cover right on the margin. hmm missed that 80 percent shot I think we're sticking with the heavy rocketeer that would be one of my prime targets for now all right viper is burning It seems the Advent officer, uh, the Advent commando here is also burning. That Advent is burning. The other Viper seems to be burning. The only one not burning is the Mutant. All right, so how do we feel about? Go in here. All of them are burning. Might as well take the body shield for the elite trooper. Oh, that's a good hit. And that's an even better hit, come on. Holy shit, that's good. Lovely. I love it. She's hitting really well. Moving into half cover is okay for flanking position. Let's kill the commando. I love the coil weapons. Their sound so crisp. I don't know what it is, but they really sound powerful. Uh, like probably one of the features that I like the most about the design, besides of course some of the models. But that's really well done. And making good sound effects is not easy. They shouldn't sound like over the top. They should sound. Yeah, threatening. It's, it's just a very, very clean sound. Okay, got ourselves a nice little Overwatch. I, we still keep the, uh, we still keep our concealment here, so I don't want to change that. Matter of fact, we're moving a bit back so that we're not being spotted out, just in case he's running around the trees. They're all burning, so I'm not terribly afraid of the situation. The flamethrower engaged did exactly what the flamethrower engaged was supposed to do. Disabling everyone and making for an interesting encounter. All right, time to clean up even further. 
I think we can start with a Viper here, come on, Taxman. 70% shot, unfortunately missed. Moving up. And I was hoping for a really solid chain shot, yep. Damn it, the sound is good. Understood. Grabbing the loot. Lyrum core is good, I like it. Let's continue with the Viper. Unfortunately, they are still considered to be <coughs> in cover. Gotta be a bit careful to not overdo it. Don't want to trigger another pack, right? Shouldn't trigger anything. You know, the crit chance is relatively low. I am wondering why that is the case. This here, however, is a better chance. We might as well kill him. Yeah, still not going to disclose the position. Continues to burn, which is great. Not even close. Well, it just stopped burning. But being bound is not a bad thing, it only deals one point of damage. That, however, is a bad thing. We know that there is a sector commander down here, and they tend to not just walk around like casually alone and have their afternoon strolling. They usually come in packs. Okay, we got a problem here, Houston. And we have to get right to it. First things first, flashbang to kill all of them. Which will also trigger the entire pack. Did we really just flashbang? And nothing happened? Holy shit. In which case, it's fair to assume that we should take good cover position because soon that pack will move up here and then we do have a problem. Target. 
Right, we're soon going to spy them uh, on, and scry on them. Well, I, I hit... It, it seems like I hit all of uh, the mutants, right? But for some reason, we did not hit um, the sectored. It's very strange. Roger that. Moving into cover. It's definitely going to be our next peg. Surprise! Who would have thought that we would trigger them, right? Well, our Overwatch was successful as always. Did they just decide to stay down there? <laughs> Did they really just decide to... Alright, that's hilarious. Thanks for having Salvo. Are you, are you suggesting we have not hit anyone? Alright, it just did not show. Well, that's a different story. Let's start with our sniper, shall we? Good old Sectoid Commander. Solid 14 points of damage. I'm ready. Position confirmed. Moving into a flanking position. Thanks to Implaceable, we're right back. Gosh, that is a strange situation. All of them are essentially standing downstairs. Closing on target position now. Moving in. <laughs> yeah, let's hit them all. All right, weapons of mass destruction. I love it. Could use the second grenade. Hmm, unfortunately there is no direct cover here. Or here. Could we could essentially move up to here? It's in so far and, and then transfer an action over. It's in so far risky. As it wouldn't allow us a way out, right? The other option is...
to hit the the viper and just stand there and wait for a blade storm massacre which isn't the worst idea because uh, they will try to melee attack and we can parry plus blade storm i think i'm going to do that is it worth giving up our scouting yet let's see we have 30 enemies killed a pack of six at the beginning this is a pack of like what five 11 it's a bit early almost specifically they only have two actions the other two are essentially taking out right yeah i would probably say it's not worth it so Let's instead give an aid protocol to Glitch here. And this here provides full cover for everyone else. Overwatch. And another overwatch, which is fine. I wish I could transfer actions over. I don't want to get rid of... I, I really don't want to get rid of uh, the concealment yet. So I want to protect that. Nice, I think that's what that was a kill. Grenade. Okay. Moving up. My ammo's running low. Almost killing the Viper. We're not ending our movement in cover, which is a bit of a risk, I must admit. Target neutralized. I'm on the move. Target disabled. Moving to designated position. On the other hand, the enemy was just so worn down that that was kind of a natural move. Advanced suppressor, really solid loot. Getting our sniper into a solid position. And let's use our concealment because uh, that's really what we were saving almost all of the energy for enemy patrol on the move oh, shit holy all right boys 
that's where the tough enemies have been located. Like, what are we looking at? Two grown-up hardcore mechs. I haven't seen them yet. 38 hit points, 5 armor. What the actual heck? That's a walking sectopod right there. Improved uh, shield bearer. Uh, mutant centurion. An upgrade, very upgraded sector commander. Oh my lord, that's 250 hit points right there. Got it. And we're not in the position to fight them at the moment. Let's hope they move away. Perfect, that's actually good. That was a hardcore pack. Holy moly. Moving up. Don't yet want to engage any of them, to be honest, so we're moving just a tiny bit back. Okay, so glitch overwatches. Rascal definitely overwatches. Taxman reloads. Back online. Yeah, I mean, Mitch has an interesting position. I wonder if it would be more valuable to get him actually over here. He probably would, so let's hope we're not getting completely caught out in transition. We'll just scout for now. <clears throat> Yeah, that's a beefy enemy pack. Next turn they are going to trigger. You can already foresee that. I'm on the move. Okay, Overwatch, Bio Overwatches, Glitch Overwatches. We could steady our hands. Probably not needed though. On the other hand, is someone going to be in range? Probably not, so might as well steady our hands. Okay. Let's see if they are running into us. The answer is apparently no. Covered. 
Good, I'll try again for an overwatch trap, to be honest. It's too good to not do it. Now, an absolute killer skill would be uh, kill zone. That would be so awesome. Sniper kill zone. So what do we got? Mutant Elite, Mutant Centurion, Shield Bearer, Super Heavy Mech is what it's called. Okay. Two of those and the Mech Longbow. Plus, of course, good old Bers Berserk. Yeah, yeah. Nope, that wouldn't work. How about a conventional, but yet very much appreciated rocket? The answer is no. I'm going to try that next round again, in case uh, they haven't triggered already. I'm wondering, I'll probably need to double check how difficult it is to actually hack these guys. But it seems that they have triggered now. Nice, we shredded the mutant, the super heavy elite mutant. Holy, 12 critical. Well, look at you, heavy mutant. Not so tough anymore, are you? Of course, we got the classical shield. Well, well, well. Still plasma grenade. Can we hit this guy and everyone else? No. Okay, so clearly something needs to be done about the mutant. Super heavy one that is suppressing us. Berserk, Mutant Elite, there we go. And that's a kill, come on, buddy. Thank you. Nice little death from above. Might use that a bit later. We're definitely fortifying our position. Before... Before we're removing the entire cover. There we go. Good job. Still a bit much armor for my taste. So if you would allow, I'd like to take off all of this armor, specifically from the super heavy max. Red at four. It's good enough. All right, this is going to be interesting, guys. Very interesting, to be precise. 
Berserk isn't really a problem. But the super heavy mechs are a problem. Let's give Baya here aid protocol. She's going to need it uh, soon. In terms of a full override, let's try acquiring a super heavy mech. Wouldn't that be awesome? Twenty percent. Well, I think we're just trying to get it for this mission. I like... Yeah, I like the idea of kind of acquiring it for... for the resistance. On the other hand, is it a kind of go big or go, uh, go, <clears throat> go home sort of moment? 20%. Come on, Saiken, be realistic. That's probably going to backfire. On the other hand, if it doesn't, oh my lord, then that's going to be a very relevant change of events. Thing is, 30% is already quite low. And 20% technically is even lower, but this here is a 1 in a 3 chance, that's a 1 in a 5 chance. Hmm. All right, for the lols, if it works, we're fine. If not, see, I wouldn't have lost anything. It didn't work either way. Can move over here and then essentially suppress them. We need to deal with the Berserk. Let's start with the mech. Yeah, it certainly doesn't help when our 90% shots are not hitting. Okay, this is a precaution measure because I think we're going to engage another pack soon. And now the question is chain shot. Ooh, Centurion chain shot would definitely be an interesting option. Yeah, let's try that. Alright, come on, one more hit. Okay, we're spreading out. I just don't want to. I just don't want to trigger their automatic rockets. They're probably going to use them once, anyways. Body shielding against the potential melee attack. Oh, that's a really gr uh, great suppression. We're free relo uh, reloading. Enemy 
And that should suppress uh, their capability to use rockets. We're setting our weapon. Not going to do anything with our melee attack. That is full cover plus defense. Yep, we're being spotted out. Shit. There's the one rocket uh, that I mentioned. There won't be any other rockets because they're only shooting once per turn with their rockets. Alright, the Berserk takes a lot of heat. There's the Bladestorm. And now counterattack. There we go. That's what you get when you attack someone who has Repost and Bladestorm. Well, that on the other hand was unfortunate. Alright! Time to continue dealing damage. Those super heavy mechs. Boy oh boy. They are a bit annoying. Yeah, that's probably triggering another pack. I don't want that to happen. You know, might as well try another full override. I wasn't sure that that is even a possibility after you failed. It seems to have no cooldown. Ah, still. We continue to buff their aim stat. Let's get this guy. All right, not a problem. So this here could even be a kill. But apparently damage control prevents that from happening. See, here's an idea. Taxman can't finish this guy. 21 is pretty damn good. Thanks to the death from above, he already has one turn left over. Now he has a second one. Clearly going for the mech. Another crit would be nice. That's good enough for now.
11 to 15. Solid chance for crit. Fifteen would be twelve points of damage. Yeah, we would need maximum damage twice in order to actually kill the mech. It'll probably pop its um, its rockets anyways, so I'm not super concerned. Oh yeah, and I forgot we even have whirlwind, which makes the decision quite easy. Yeah, like I said, that was predictable. We are immune to mind control. And given that we suffered the first injuries, let's take a look. Five hit points, five hit points. I definitely need some healing. Let's continue to hit the mech. Thanks to its damage control, it is taking a pretty limited amount of damage. Free reload, moving over here, we probably should have used his attack first, as yes, he's shredding, but better late than never. I think we wouldn't have saved too much uh, shots. Uh, hold on, wait a second, he has taken 7 points of damage, so of course we need to heal that. Rascal, my man, heavily injured. I think we have the superior position. This here is going to be a no-brainer as well. Thanks to the melee vulnerability next turn, this guy will essentially die. And we're just going to overwatch. Yep, let's not move anywhere. The VIP on the enemy side is certainly that shield bearer or the MVP of this fight because he, de defying all odds, he has hit every single shot. No longer a threat. I'm sure the docks don't want to see this. And dealt an immense amount of damage. Wow. Okay, we are still fine. We got another heal left and overall our hit points are looking good. But that last pack was pretty damn tough. On the move. 
And keep in mind, we do not have a scout anymore. The entire team essentially is revealed now. Ready to go. Time for a good old reload. Overwatch and probably, although I know that you won't like that, it is probably time for the end of this episode. We have had a pretty good engagement, but it's already an hour, and I think we're going to see some more enemies. Matter of fact, we have seen them already back here. Another pack is waiting. <clears throat> I'll end the episode here. If you enjoyed what you've seen, uh, keep the likes and the comments coming. It means a lot to, uh, to me. I really appreciate all of the feedback that um, I'm getting. And see you in the second part of uh, this banger mission, uh, where we are hopefully going to uh, kill the boss. Although the last pack was already pretty much like a boss pack. Uh, let's see what uh, other packs are still remaining. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great evening. Bye-bye.